So you're thinking about moving to the Nashville area and you're really not sure where things are and how far it is to the airport or to downtown or anywhere around Nashville. We're going to show you around town today. We're going to do a map tour and we're going to get started right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you're wanting to know everything there is to know about Nashville and the surrounding areas, feel free to click the bell for notifications, click subscribe, and you'll get notified every single time that we upload a new video. I'm Michael and Joshua, Caleb, James, David, our team. We get calls from people just like you from all over the country every single day, and they're wanting to make their move to Nashville, find out more details about Nashville, and we're here to answer any questions you may have. So whether you're moving in one day, one month, or one year, we'll be glad to help you. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'll help you see if this is a place where you want to live, work, and play. Now, like I said, we are looking at a map tour of Nashville today. We're going to dive in, and let me get this up on the screen here so we can get going. And the first thing, here we go. Now, let's take a look over here. This is Nashville, the the basic proper Nashville proper right here. And so let's uh, kind of outline. This is way, way north. And then it comes down. Obviously, this is kind of pretty far south, Brent, uh, Brentwood, Franklin, and then all the way back up there. This is the Nashville area. It's pretty large. It's definitely uh, spread out. There's multiple lakes here. The Cumberland River runs right through. You can see it runs right through the middle of it over to Old Hickory Lake. I mean, it is definitely a unique place. Music City is what it's called. We're going to take a look at a couple of things about Music City, but we're going to look at a, a lot of other things about Nashville as well. So let's clear that out. Now, first thing, we're going to take a look at distance. And let's uh, zoom in just a little bit here. So you can see the Nashville set up with actually a couple of perimeters, but there, there's a uh, interstate running through from east to west. This goes out to Memphis and cuts. There's 40, cuts down, 40 comes out and goes out towards Knoxville out this way. Um, so that's I-40. Um, I-65 goes north-south up into Indianapolis, and that is going down to Alabama. So here's I-65 going north off this way. And then if you get up I-65 and you go off to I-24, which is off this way, that goes up to Clarksville near Kentucky as well. So as you can see, there's some major interstates that run right through the center of town. And when I say through the center of town, the interstates run through the center of town, right by Nissan Stadium, right by like downtown. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the airport and where the airport's at. So if this is the surrounding Nashville area, this is where the airport sits. So the airport, oh, back back out a little bit so you can kind of see easy access to the airport. From most areas, I mean, it takes a little bit longer from the far west side. But whether you live in Franklin or Tom, here's Thompson Station and Spring Hill, you can see you just jump up I-65 and then you take 440 over around over to the airport. That's pretty easy track. Then um, if you live north side, you can... A good Litzville here. Uh, here's White House, um, Hendersonville, Gallatin. Gallatin, you would probably come down this way to the airport, but most of these you would just come straight down the interstate right here, take it around here to Briley Parkway, take that to right there to the airport. Pretty simple. Kind of looks like a face. Kind of weird. All right, a couple things. Uh, like I, I mentioned, the uh, River, let's zoom in. You see the river runs right through downtown. It actually dumps out into Old Hickory Lake. 
um, this is the this is Old Hickory Lake right here. Old Hickory Lake is where many many stars have uh, lake houses on the lake, but it's also the home of Andrew Jackson, who was called Old Hickory, and his home is I'd have to see where it's at, but it's probably somewhere right in here, um, right in that area. His home, I mean, literally the museum, everything's right on the lake, Old Hickory Lake. There's another lake, and this is a little bit southeast of Nashville. That This is Percy Priest Lake. Uh, this is a man-made lake. This is a reservoir, and it is huge. There's lots, a lot of things to do at both of these lakes. If you love the lake life, you can check out a video that we um, post. There's a, a link up there in the corner for a video that we posted on lake life. Can take a look at that. So let's dive in a little bit deeper into some of the places around. I'm gonna scroll in here. Here we go. We're doing. We've done a couple of videos on different areas around in the Nashville area. Here's the Gulch right here. Um, here's where Music Row is. So everybody talks about where the where the music. Uh, Producers are and the, all the music companies, they're on Music Row. A lot of them are right there in the Music Row area. Uh, there's a couple of universities. Vanderbilt University is right here. And Belmont University is just below it. So Music Row runs right down like 16th and 17th right here. That is all Music Row area. And then let's see what else we have here. We'll take a look at some interesting things around town too but um let's, i need to zoom out a little bit more zoom out a little bit Oop, too far all right um here's uh, tennessee state university right over here and then i'm gonna go in like super far not to the middle of the river here we go so when you get down downtown, which we are looking at Broadway, here's, here's Broadway right here. Broadway is where all of the restaurants are, the bars and things like that. You can see, um, oh, let's see, Broadway. Here's Broadway. This is running right downtown to, this is looking up Broadway, but if you look down Broadway, so if I have a picture of down Broadway, it, you're right at the river. So this is some of the bars and museums and restaurants, and Broadway is full of this. There's uh, Robert's Western World. Luke. Luke Bryan. A lot, and uh, I mean, a lot of places downtown. There, there's a good view. There's Hard Rock Cafe. There's a few other places looking down. You can get just about any kind of food you want. This is kind of interesting. This is a beer cart. Um, everybody pedals and everybody drinks. Um, as you can see, there's live music all the time in just about every location you go to. This is one of the locations downtown in, on Broadway. Boot Country. All right, so let's uh, let's move on from Broadway. Go back over here. We're right downtown. So here's uh, the Walk of Fame Park, which is a, a park in the middle of town. A lot of uh, country or just music artists are they have their own kind of like a Hollywood uh, Walk of Fame. This is the the Music Walk of Fame. It's uh, Walk of Fame Park. And then right next to it is the Country Music Hall of Fame. Here is some pictures from Country Music Hall of Fame. This is the inside circle. With all these are people that have been inducted. Uh, you can see look at all the gold records and things like that. There's a you know, whole wall full of them. I might be famous. It looks like a Cadillac from somebody. Anybody know who that is? That's Elvis. Elvis's Cadillac. 
this is an interesting one too. You, you should check out this car. This car is is tricked out. <laughs> everything, the door handles, everything is unique. All all made out of chrome. Um, this is this is an amazing car. It was fun to see that one. Here, this car's in here too. Anybody know what that is, right? That's uh, way back a long time ago. Smokey and the Bandit. There's a car in there. Um, that car's in there because uh, the guy that was with Burt Reynolds was Jerry Reed, and he was a country singer. So there's all kinds of things to do at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Let's take a look at another place that has to do with country music. This is the Grand Ole Opry. You can see this place is huge. Um, it's It's got a couple of names. One of the names is, I, I think this is an interesting name to it right here. Uh, let me show you this picture. Okay. It's called the Mother Church, the Mother Church of Country Music. They also have pews in their church. <laughs> they they put in, in the Grand Ole Opry, they put pews in, which is interesting. All kinds of, uh, this is a longest running radio show, still runs um, on radio. It's also on TV now. There's all kinds of specials that happen there. They induct people into the uh Grand Ole Opry all the time. So, um, mu lots of musicians play there. It's, a, it's the place to be, one of the places to, to play. Let's see if I can find a couple of other good pictures. There you go. It's a stage picture. So as you can see, the Grand Ole Opry right downtown. Let's see. I'll show you kind of where that's at. Grand Ole Opry is out of ways. So if you're downtown, here's the Country Music Hall of Fame. And uh, you would go, uh, probably the easiest way to go, Donaldson out this way and then take Briley Parkway up to the Grand Ole Opry, which is up here. So there's that. Let's see what else we can find. It's the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, here's the Parthenon. So let me show you where the Parthenon's at. Parthenon is actually uh, west. So if you're here downtown right here, um, you would be going off to the west to the Parthenon. The Parthenon is an exact replica size-wise of the Parthenon in Greece. It is huge, absolutely huge. It has it has this uh, monument, same monument, same size monument. It's a re replica of the Parthenon. Uh, it has all the same features. They show you what some of the, the features look like. And the, these are the busts that uh, are in the Parthenon, similar to what's in Greece. As you can see by how big people are this place is massive so this is a really cool place to go as well so also attached to olympic park which olympic park is a huge park in nashville right next to vanderbilt and it, it i mean it's a place for concerts they do festivals there this is also loaded, located there there's a lake there uh, definitely walking trails all kinds of things to do if you into outdoor stuff, then that's definitely a place to be. Uh, we looked at the country music hall of fame. We looked at Broadway. Oh, here's one Nissan Stadium. This is home of the Titans, which is an NFL team. They also do a lot of this is a CMA Fest, but they do a lot of concerts here. Um, all the big concerts are done here, festivals are done here. Um, I think uh, about a month ago, Garth Brooks played here. Kenny Chesney, lots of different artists come into town and play here. That is Nissan Stadium along with the Titans playing here. You can see there's a NFL team. There it is. Tennessee Titans. So this is a cool place to go if you're into sports. Definitely want to check that out. Here's our newest park. This is Geodis Park. This is our new, brand new soccer stadium. Uh, it is massive. It's a 
certainly a big soccer venue. Uh, soccer has really become a lot more popular recently in America. And I mean, it's always been popular, but they're building these gigantic parks now to, uh, to house the new soccer teams and the major league teams that are coming to all these cities. So this is Geodis Park. And then let's see what we have here. Oh, that's the same thing. And this is Bridgestone Arena. Bridgestone Arena is back downtown. You can see if this is Broadway, we're back, back right here. Here's Broadway. Here's the Country Music Hall of Fame. Bridgestone Arena sits right on the opposite side of the Walk of Fame Park from the Country Music Hall of Fame. So Bridgestone Arena is home of the Predators, which is the hockey team. Also, a lot of concerts and a lot of uh, events happen. You can see there's monster trucks in the, inside. Um, it's definitely Predator country for sure. And let's see what else. Um, here's a concert inside Bridgestone. Another concert. Looks like Eric Clapton to me. There you go. Um, and then this is a cool place. This is not one of these massive uh, places like the parks, N Nissan, Geodis Park, or Bridgestone. This is called the Bluebird Cafe. Bluebird Cafe is definitely a iconic place. It is literally, uh, it might maybe be, I don't know if I, there we go, I can get to it. it it's, uh, th that's a barbershop. So this Right here is a line, and then I'm going to get rid of it. And this right here is a line, so um, I can't I can't do that. Oh, <laughs> um, this right here is a line as well. So this is about 20, 25 feet wide. It is not a very big spot, and you can see that it's it's tight. Not many people fit into it. You can also see there's a, always a line outside. This is home of songwriters. So Garth Brooks started here. Uh, Taylor Swift started here. Like writing songs, they would share their songs here at the Bluebird Cafe. This is it's one of the most famous places in Nashville. And it's just this little tiny cafe. And you can see, here's some pictures of it. Here's some people playing. You see it's cozy and quaint, but still iconic for sure. So there's that. And then uh, this is one of my favorite things now we're going to talk about. Um, Nashville is known for being a big city, but even though it's a big city, there's also a lot of outdoor activities to do. So I've told you, highlighted a couple of parks and a couple of lakes. I want to highlight one other thing that is just awesome. And it is called the Natchez Trace. So it picks up somewhere. I'll, I'm going to show you here. It picks up somewhere right in here's 100. So um, it's got to be like right in here somewhere. Um, it picks up and it goes. I'll, I'll show you on another map because I have it. It's a national park. And if you look, it picks up here in Nash. Oh, whoa, that's not Nashville. There's Nashville. Um, it picks up and goes from Natchez, Tra Natchez, Mississippi, all the way to Nashville, Tennessee. And it's 444 miles of national park. And all the roads are elevated, meaning they, they kind of run on the top of the mountains and the top of the hills. And it's just a beautiful view. There's nothing commercial on the Natchez Trace, so you have to actually exit off of the Natchez Trace to get gas or to get food or anything like that. There's all kinds of waterfalls. There's parks all along the way. All 444 miles have parks, waterfalls, uh, hiking trails. It, it's just, it's an amazing trail. It's beautiful. Uh, you, this is definitely a thing you're going to want to check out. I'll show you some other pictures. Um, it's just, these are outdoor pictures. Uh, obviously, there's the the park. Let's see. Uh, one other picture. See if I can find it. Um, bridge. 
See if we can find this bridge. There you go. Check this out. This is on the Natchez Trace. As you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. Definitely a place you're going to want to check out. People ride bikes, motorcycles, everything. The, it's, it's set up so that people can, can go enjoy nature and they don't have to worry about all the commercial signs and all of that stuff. So this is a great, great place if you love the outdoors. There's a lot of other outdoor activities that you can check out. So like I said, there, this is our map tour, but you don't want to miss out on all the great places there are to do outdoors. You can certainly check those out. We'll give you some links down in the description below of different places that you can go in Nashville. If you want to check out more information about the Nashville Vlog Tour, check out this video right here. And we'll see you next video.